Hey everyone, Brian here from Glorious, where we set goals, hit goals, and make new ones. Today we're talking about student finance, and I'm teaching you guys everything you need to know before you buy. As a reminder, this is not financial advice, this is not investing strategy, I'm not affiliated with student finance, this was just a project I recently discovered and want to talk about with you guys today. So student finance, it's their main goal is to become the common currency of the education sector. So we're going to go through a couple things today, a summary on what the token is about, we're going to look at the team, we're going to look at the white paper, we're going to look at all their marketing efforts and social media. Obviously, we're going to look at their tokenomics, and then we're also going to go a little step by step on how you buy it if you are interested in this project. As a reminder, do your own research when you're interested in a project. Don't take it from anyone, even people like me saying, oh, you should buy this, or even though this is interesting to us, do your own research and figure out if that project is for you. Today, I'm going to do my five rug pull check to do my uh, these aren't the only things to check for a rug pull. It's more of like, these are five things to check to see if this project is legitimate. Again, even if they do pass these five things, there could always be improvements to the project. And also, in general, I'm not guaranteeing that this won't be a rug pull. Obviously, you want to make sure they go through third-party audits, etc. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna ju let's jump into it today and learn about student finance. So right off the bat, they teach you how to buy it. But obviously, hopefully you're buy hopefully you're uh, looking at what their project is before purchasing it. So how to invest: set up trust wallet and deposit BNB funds. Swap BNB to for smart chain. Copy contract address below. And you should always do this as a best practice when you, anytime you're buying a specific currency to grab the contract address from the website or something like BSC scan. Open Pancake Swap via the link below using version 2. Again, you want to make sure that since version 2 of Pancake Swap is out, anytime you're buying a specific buying a specific project that you're checking to make sure what they recommend, version 1 or version 2, paste the contract address in the lower box and then swap. And always make sure you know what you're swapping for. So again, so let's learn about the project. So what makes this different? Being part of the decentralized finance movement, student and their ticker is STDNT is a blockchain-based form of finance that does not rely on centralized finance intermediaries such as brokers, exchanges, or banks. So essentially, they're trying to make it easier to pay for finance and that there's, you know, there's no middleman, etc. This reduces the cost associated with providing and using these products and allows for a more frictionless financial system. So um, that's what their main goal is, and I think we're going to go over some specific details that they're working on today. Community projects around the world play an important role in development of society. So they're saying that you know, they want to, especially in rural areas, help make it easier for everyone to get uh, education and help, you know, make it easier for, um, you know, the financials. So again, we're in May. This project is very early. A goal of this channel, or one of the goals of this channel is to find really early uh, projects and altcoins. But on top of that, I want to make sure that not only is it early, but that it's safe, especially with these early projects, you don't know much about them. But I want to make sure that it's a safe, at least, you know, a safe enough, again, with these five checks to make sure that, we could catch some things along the way to ensure that whatever you guys are putting your money into, that the project is, is going to be in there for the long run. So launching their tokens, completing their white paper, submitting it to um, exchanges, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, and so growth. So this is what they're doing uh, uh, in the upcoming months. Marketing, expand the admin team, so it's good that they're working on expansion. First community elected mayor project funded via project wallet. First community elected charity donation wallet set up. Getting listed on um, listings, CoinGecko, up, updating the website, expansion. So these are the more of the broader things. Expand on student finance, coffee machines, community driven, aiming for every university to have access to cheap fair trade coffee. So again, they want to make sure that you know they have access. I guess that's really important to them. Um, linking. Student finance users around the world, charity campaign, begin development of student finance exchange. So this is their team. So this is our first check that we go through when we are looking at new projects for a rug pull or just the legitimacy of, of the project is to see who are the people behind it. So in this case, there's two members, Curtis Thomas and Kane Friend, the CEO and the COO. They don't have much information on them. It would I would like it to if they you know they had like their LinkedIn or more information about them. Obviously, they literally just launched their site, so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But for me, I would have liked more information on them, especially you know the, more than that. She's uh, these pictures. Obviously, it'd be nice to see even if they don't show their LinkedIn. It would be nice to know their background, etc. 
because you want to feel safe and like, okay, who are these people? So, well, at least they said their names. It would have been good to uh, give their background, but, you know, we'll give them. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to give a green because I want to make sure that, you know, they provide more information. So we'll give it a yellow as in, uh, and yellow is not necessarily bad. It's just make sure that, you know, we'll, we'll wait uh, for them to update more information on their team and, and see how that's going. So cool. The next thing that we wanted to check is the white paper. And they don't have the white paper list on the website. Oh, they actually do. But when you click on it, I don't think it works. Oh, there you go. Okay, I was having issues earlier. So uh, this is the white paper, obviously very new. Uh, it's literally a, a document now. So information on student finance and everything that they're going through, which is great, and all the tokenomics. So you could look at their scope and like the introduction of, of why they're doing it. Uh, what is student finance? So uh, Binance Smart Chain. So here's some of their tokenomics. So not a lot of tokens. There's only 100,000 tokens on burnable, on mineable, on mintable. So wallet holdings, they talk specifically about their holdings. 7.6%. Um, am I reading that right? 7.6% holdings. This will be the main funding for our project. Marketing wallet, 2.3%. So they're giving really specifics. I assume every, everything else is for the pool for everyone to invest in. So this is their mission. Uh, this is why it's important. Student allows already linked students from every corner of the globe to firstly ease, firstly ease otherwise tedious payment transactions and in the future provide access to all related general student life at a much more reasonable price than they're currently paying. So again, they want to make sure that education and finances isn't something that they have to worry about. Obviously, you still have to worry about paying it, but they want to make it as easy as possible without having to pay you know, the overage. Uh, they have some, even some references on things that they've looked up and some information that they have there. So that's good. So again, so for white paper, they've had one. I think they should obviously, you know, it's still being built out. I think this is, you know, it says literally, I think like uh, version one. So obviously they have a little bit more to add, but I think it's good that they have one. So we'll give uh, that a green. So the next thing we checked is if there's any crazy promises, like unrealistic projections of like, oh, buy our coin now, you'll get uh, 10x, 100x in the near future. I haven't seen anything like that. I looked at their Twitter. I think they've, you know, haven't said anything. Uh, they said check us out on Coin Ranking, and you could check that out and, and how they're doing there. They haven't promised anything specifically. Again, this is a new token, but a fairly and fairly new community. So I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary that stands out to me in terms of anything that they're over promising. I think that their roadmap, etc. Let me go back to the road. I think the roadmap, etc., is um, definitely reasonable. I think there's still a lot of things that they have to do. But again, not, they're not over promising anything. And um, I, I, think that's, uh, I think that's fine. So we'll give them a green there. Uh, and the next bucket, it's more along the lines of their marketing spend. Have they spent anything absorbent that's to be like, okay, we're spending on promotions and marketing and influencers, and we're trying to stray away from, you know, focus on the tokenomics or the fundamentals of our project. And I didn't say anything crazy that they're spending their money on or anything that, sure, they made this video or whatever like that. And they do have a YouTube channel that they're trying to focus on. And I'm not going to show the all this video. This is more of just like a hype video on uh, their mission and things like that. And yeah, I don't think that they're trying to hide anything on, on what they're doing or what their overall uh, goals are. So, you know, I don't see a huge red flag there. So uh, that's green uh, to me. Again, where we have to kind of like wait and see. Again, a lot of these videos that I'm doing are like, hey, this is the project. This is what's going on. We have to wait and see. If you want to jump in early, do it at your own risk. But for a lot of these projects, for me, it's like wait and see how things pan out. And then if everything, if they talk more about their team and everything that they're doing and get some exciting updates, then that's probably where I jump in. Obviously, it might be at a point where it might not be as early as possible, but everyone has to manage their risk. So this is what their current price is. Remember, their supply is only 100,000 in the supply. So uh, that you're not going to see those crazy point zero 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 whatever price. This is at currently at 88 cents. And again, here's supply 100,000. The market cap is currently 88,000. And yeah, let's look at how many holders there are. So there is 111, 111 holders. And yeah, so again, very early project, very, you know, like, you know, like I said, if you want to get this project early, this could be potentially the one. Again, do your own research. So the last thing that we're going to check is to see if there's any huge wallets or whales or et cetera. Obviously, we want to make sure that whatever they said in their tokenomics and the holdings uh, pans out. So for me, like I said, this one has 7%. Who knows what this wallet is? I know they said they allocated one for the holders and marketing and, you know, for some of their funds for their operation for their 
uh, company. And yeah, I don't think that this is anything too crazy. What we're looking for is some wallet that has like 40, 50% in it. This does nothing stands out to me. Like this seems reasonable. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, uh, big hold, uh, hold. There's a lot of holders that have at least 1%. Uh, and I think that's good. Like I said, I'm probably really excited people that really believe in this uh, project. And I, I think that it's reasonable. There's nothing that sticks out for me in terms of red flag that there's, you know, that it's going to be a rug pull because you expect in rug pulls that there would be someone that has 40%, 50% so that when it comes time that a price gets to where they want to, they just eventually sell everything and ruin uh, the price for everyone else. So uh, they get a green there in terms of wallet holders. Again, these aren't the only five you should be checking. These are the, the top five that I check initially when I look at a project. Again, do your research and figure out if the project is for you. But that's essentially it. I think that... You know, we went over a lot of things about this project. I think that there's still a lot of things that um, could be happening. Again, we give them the benefit of the doubt because they're early on and we have to wait and see what happens. But, you know, I think it's an interesting project. I think that there's not a lot of these projects focused on the education finance sector. And I think we have to just wait and see the type of partnerships that they have and how much things that they do, um, you know, with their growth and expansion. And yeah, I think definitely be interesting. Obviously, they have a charity component. So we, I want to see how that plays out. And yeah, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Um, if you own any of these tokens, if you plan to, just your overall thoughts on this project as a whole, whether you think that this project, you know, is interesting to you or if you want me to cover more projects similar to this. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We do weekly giveaways for my subscribers. More information in the link in the description. But thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.